Knight Foundation. Hennepin County Emergency Department, this is Dan, how can I help you? All right. Can you give a problem, Joe? It's fine, I can help you out. Oh, I, yeah, I have a good signature. <laughs> no, I don't have like those wavy lines like some doctors are like, that's a signature. <laughs> so you can read, you can make out letters here. When Dr. Plummer is on, all hell breaks loose. What does that that's mean? That's not true at all. <laughs> no, it's, it's just a busy ER and I, I just, I'm one of the people that work here. So, but it happens that when you're working here, it gets real busy? It'll be busy tonight. Really? Got Probably. that feel. Oh, really? Why is that? Driving through the city is a good barometer of how busy we'll be, how many people are on the street, how active it is. So it's real active out there? It's active tonight. So you're bringing through residency candidates here? Yep. Where are you from? South Mexico. University of Michigan. The other U of M. Where you Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Well, welcome here. Mondays are kind of chaotic. We have our Typically, the biggest volumes in Monday. I'll stop. The stabilization room is basically used for whenever we get a critical patient, whether it be a trauma patient or a critical medical patient coming in through the emergency department. They're basically set up like two small operating rooms. We do all of our procedures in here. If the patient needs to get intubated, they'll come into these rooms, and obviously, all of our trauma, come, all of our serious trauma, comes through here. This patient would like to be at the VA hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't know if we can send him or not. Come here directly. I'm going to be calling. Okay. So. Where is he? He's in, he's in uh, 13. 13. Max Pigford. He's pretty stable, yeah. He's just a little bit fever. And he will tell you that he's still smoking right now. Thanks. Okay. Uh, he does seem pretty yeah. distant here, and it's hard for me to know if that's a good line. Could I'm you sorry. tell him that it's going to be okay that he's going to go to the veterans hospital? Yeah. Well, we're going to evaluate Dr. you and make sure that you don't have a bad pneumonia or anything Dr. like, you know, something going on in your lungs that needs, and what needs to be treated for it, and then we'll probably send you to the veterans hospital. Problem is, sometimes we call them, they don't have a bed, and then there's no place to go, so you'd have to stay here for a day until they have a bed. Mm -hmm. They'll probably have a bed, though, Dad. I've got a good feeling. Trauma Steve, five okay. minutes up. Correct. Yeah, 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 Ooh, that's a bad mechanism. And he had a, he's got the steering column and he's got a, um, an airbag and the airbag Good. apparently failed. that took place in the city of Lakeville and uh, that uh, call actually came in as an accident, one car accident involving a person that was trapped in the vehicle that was on fire. Uh, myself and another officer arrived, the vehicle was on fire and uh, we uh, broke out some windows to get to him and some other citizens took our extinguishers and put out the uh, fire. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Cardiac ultrasound, it's normal, no effusion scene. Do you remember how fast you were going when you hit the wall? Uh, approximately 40, 45. Okay. All right, did you have an airbag in the car? Yes. Okay, did the airbag go off? Yes. Okay. Hello? Uh, yeah. Do you get a chance you want to give them more morphine? Morphine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Gotta get the IVs in. Oh, Can you want your arm in by your side for me? I'm trying. Oh. Sir, you need to keep your arm in by your side. You Gotta get this there, you go. there, there you go. There you go. Oh. He's just on three to cancer. X-rays and shoes. Sir, can you tell me which way I'm supposed to pull in your toe? Up or down? Oh. How about this side? How about this side? Which way are we going? Up or down? I know your hand's hurting. How about down here? Is it up or down? <laughs> this swimmer looks good down to... He won. Oh, he's pretty good. Okay, I can dapple both pulses on the left. I think down here, my turn. Oh, the right. pulse kid is weaker. Oh, 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 we're gonna need to get him scanned for sure because i think ortho is probably gonna want to take him so all right I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you down here. Oh, no, 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 not no fast, not no. no, we should. No, no, we can do that. That going to hurt, man. Well, it'll hurt to wash it unless we numb it. But if we put it to sleep for you, you won't feel any of the washing, which is nice. No, so what are you going to do? Where are you going to stick it at? I'll show you on the side. What we'll do is we'll give you a shot here and a shot here and then a little one across the top and that'll put the whole thing in the sleep. Oh man. That's a big needle, man. I'm talking about that's a little needle. They don't come any smaller than that. Man. Man, it's gonna hurt, man. It does, it does. It'll but hurt. It, but it, it, it does stay. It beats doing it without. It does sting. It's like getting a beat a bee bite. <laughs> Man, you can clean that without getting me stung up. You want us to? You yeah. Want to? I, again. If you want me to, okay, I'll, I'll try it without it. I don't feel anything either way. I don't care. Okay, it's up to you. Oh, it's rather, up to you. You're the one that's going to feel it. I'd rather get it clean than to get stuck in. Okay, if it gets too sore though while we're doing it, mm. tell us to stop and we'll put it to sleep for you. Okay. Okay. See, that one's so bad. Okay. And that's your other, that's the same side as your thigh bone break. You got, so you broke both bones on one leg, okay? Oh, no, no. You're not kidding. Okay. Oh, I'm having you some pain medicine here too. Oh. a great story. This gentleman is a urologist from uh, one of our other hospitals here in town. He's here with another friend of his who's a urologist and he has... Uh, For a urology convention? No, they work here. <laughs> they work here. 
He couldn't. In fact, he couldn't get to work this morning. He called up his other friend at the bureau and said, "Please take hey, me to the hospital." I got hospital. a stone. <laughs> he did. He did. Yeah. So he um, has flank pain. Has an old history of flank pain. Has greater than 50 cells in his on his UA. We actually strained it and looked at it on here. It looks like calcium oxalate. He's up getting an IVP upstairs. He got uh, 25 Demerol and a liter of fluid, and he feels great. Yeah, this urology story, is it real or you just like, No, it's no, real. real. I think the most fantastic so, part of this story is how can you tell if it's a calcium oxalate? Do they have a history of a calcium oxalate? No, we looked at it. We looked at it. I think you're not. So, yeah. The cobbler gets his shoes found, so maybe he just drank a lot of tea. <laughs> Well, 
Your dog ate your sofa. He ate a hole in it about the size of a dinner plate, so I could see right through the spring's net. So I threw him outside, so then I was getting ready to go to work, and he wouldn't come in. So he chased all around the yard and up and down the block, and he stood in front of the doorway of the gate, and I went to go kick him, and he moved, and my foot hit the fence post. So here I am. And he's at home, in the kitchen, just fine. He's got facial injuries and some neck tenderness. So it's not real prominent. What uh, happened to him? Um, he's staying up now, and he's going down the slopes. Um, at the bottom, there's, a, there's an embankment that was supposed to stop the skews. Mm -hmm. It was something that they plowed. And it stopped you? No, I skied right over the top of it. If it wouldn't have been there, I would have been fine. Okay. Were you knocked out when you were hit? I started flanking out, but then I came to Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get a peek at these here. I'm Dr. Christensen. I'm one of the supervisory doctors here. It's got abrasions on both his cheeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is actually hold your head real still. I'm going to actually take this collar off. If your neck's broken, that's all right as long as you hold still, okay? Grandma? We don't have enough 
Yeah, we don't know I, exactly. Can we get a rhythm, please? I'm just looking them up. Okay, off the ramp. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, EKG is getting better. Yeah, EKG is getting we don't have anything. We've got pizza. There's nothing to do anything. Uh, you know, we'll call you if we need you. Thank 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 yeah. Give him one of yeah. Epi. Yeah. Two of Epi already. You want to just give him a milligram? One could double it or something. You want to go to high dose and give him two? Three. 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 How much? Three is fine. Three. Okay. Hold it there. You hold the ram just for a second. Tag him. I got a rhythm here. Tag him again. Okay, start the ram up. He's got a pacer. He's supposed to have a pacer. There's probably other stuff. Feel for Paul. I don't feel Paul. Yeah, pacer spikes and no Paul. He's basically used to star. You know, the only way to go is more adrenaline. Do you want to try and shock it again? Or? No, not here. Let's give him another atropine and then another epi. That's about the only way to go. There's not much. Uh, there's not much more here. Another one of atropine. And another. Harry, you got a central line there, Harry. 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 How you doing with your line there? Nothing yet. What you got there? Okay. That's pretty far away. Huh? What does he have off the ram? Anything? Nothing. Hold the ram. Call it any time you want to hear you. I don't think there's anything else. We finished the app and we finished the app. What, what is this? Take a feel. It's, it's like a yeah. junctional rhythm. I agree, but is it a call? Is it in? Feel is karate. Anything? Anthony, would you grab the ultrasound no. and drag it over? Yeah, that's a good idea. No karate. Anthony, would you grab the ultrasound and drag it over? He's, he's dead. He's got nothing. Yeah. He's got no wall motion, no no. Let's valve. call this at 1136. Well, do we have an ID on this guy? Uh, is no there family? family? We have an ID, but we have no family yet. Uh, Doctor, could you tell me what, what happened here? From, from what we understand, uh, gentleman sounds like he had a heart attack or cardiac arrest while he was driving his car. He was found unconscious in his car and slumped over the wheel with uh, no pulse, no blood pressure. His heart wasn't working. By the time they get here, if they haven't responded to anything, it's about a one in a hundred uh, resuscitation of, of a patient of, of this type. Mm -hmm. It's a very, it's, I mean, they're basically dead and we just try to get the heart, heart to beat again. But when we looked on, on the echo machine, you can see that in spite of some um, electrical tracings that his heart wasn't contracting and not in, there was no blood flow not enough even to just make the ve heart valves just wiggle just a little bit mm -hmm. how does it feel to you when you know you lose a patient like if they were all like this i'd go home and cut my wrists there's no way you could do this every day and not stay sane if, if all of your outcomes were like this but every time that you see this I think you think of everybody that you've ever known in your life that you've lost. And even, you know, I've never met this person more than five yes. minutes ago. I've never heard him speak. I've never seen him blink his eyes. But every time this happens, you think of everybody you've lost in your life. I'll just start walking. I'm not going to sit around and wait here. I've been here since 9.30 this morning. 
Okay. Bye-bye. Too busy to come get me, so I guess, I, I guess I walk home. <laughs> okay. Don't kick any more furniture or no dogs more, or... No more posts. Oh, for the camera.